Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I am the artist and author behind Bible Journaling Made Simple. And I want to do an extended flip through of both books, the main book and the workbook in this video. The main book has a bunch of content in it that goes from everything from how you start getting to the heart of Bible journaling to the mediums, and then a bunch of chapters with lots of tutorials in them. They're kind of grouped by topics. And then at the end, there's an advanced applications chapter with lots of crazy stuff in it. And throughout it, I hope it's going to help you move along your Bible journaling journey and get closer to the Lord. This first section is really important to me, and I hope you don't skip to that to get to the art, because it's all about the process of hearing from God, how to pray through the scriptures, and overcome those things that are stopping you from getting started, and helping you to really dig into your relationship with God, because that's what this is all about. There's a lot on mediums. I should say a lot on three mediums. The three that I focus on are color pencil, watercolor pencil, and watercolor. Because with those, I don't have to use any page preps. And that's kind of my thing. I don't use page preps. So that's where I put my focus. There's a little on the website that that will hopefully get people familiar with the website. There's downloadable sketches that you can go and get and use. There's videos on the website as well as you can see them here. And then there's buyer's guides for both supplies and Bibles. There's throughout the book, there's little, little sticky notes in here. What's your story? So what is it that God is telling you in the scriptures? There's questions there for you to think about and ponder and the whole idea behind these tutorials is to give you ideas that you can use with a variety of scriptures. Not that you have to take this one scripture and apply it on this one page and do what I did, but you can do what God's telling you to do. I'm trying to give you some skills to open you up to be able to have some skills to do what he tells you to do instead of just replicating what someone else creates. But as you can see, there's just tons of different ideas in here. There's like a whole section on how to choose your words that you're going to put on your page and how to simplify those down to their essence. There's just tons and tons of content in here. And I really hope that this is going to be a great resource for you. They left lots of white space in the book, and I recommend using that to take notes. If God tells you something, if he reminds you of a verse and you're like, I want to try that with such and such a verse, write it down. Here's, there's a whole section on exploring your style. And there's a big white space there where you can do that, or you can go get a sketchbook and, and try it in somewhere else. There's an exercise there for you. And for those who know me and the, my love of drawing water, there's a whole section on water, of course. And then there's light and fire and all different kinds of wonderful things that, will give you a range of visuals that you can use all throughout your Bible in your Bible journaling. And this is the advanced applications section. Some of these, like I said, are related to tutorials that are already in the book and others are just crazy things that I've drawn and kind of have a little caption about what I was thinking and how I created that page. So there's lots to inspire you to keep on going in your journey. And I ended it with one of my favorite pages that I've done, <laughs> Loved by the Good Shepherd. Because Jesus does love us, doesn't he? So that is the main book. And now let's take a look real quick at the workbook. This one was added later, and it was the most brilliant idea. And you can see it shows you, you color some of the images. So it's a half-colored one there on the front. And it's done on, look at this, Bible paper. There's a little picture of me in there. <laughs> but it's on Bible paper. So it's a whole book that you can practice on. You can use these pages to your heart's content to test things out and try things out. It may not be the exact paper in your Bible, but it's going to be darn close. And I challenged the publisher to go find some paper that was really going to work. But I give you tons of things for testing your mediums in beautiful ways, like beautiful graphics. And you can test things with the front and the back of each one of them. And just go crazy and try things. See what it looks like to paint on both sides of a sheet of Bible paper. Is that something you want to do or not want to do? And what mediums would work to do it and wouldn't work? So there's lots of room for journaling as well. There's verses that have some illustrations with them. And I've put lots of prompts in here. So my intent for you is also to be able to use this as a, a journal to capture your journey with the Lord. 
So use the questions that are there and the prayer prompts to think about what might what might God be saying to you? And those might help you start your journey. There's some of these, like this one, that are related specifically to tutorials in the book so that you can use these together. So there's some places and the, that they're kind of in order the same way that the book is in order and the chapters kind of match. And there's even a color wheel. So in the book, I talk about a color wheel. You can create a color wheel with whatever mediums you want and fill in all of these sections over here with the different kinds of colorways there are. So in the book itself, my color wheel was done in pencil, but you can do this in any medium that you like. And I am going to be doing a video here very soon on doing the color wheel in watercolor. So I will show you how to do some color mixing with some watercolors. There's of course waves in here, bubbles, all different kinds of images that you can color. Everything's printed in these nice thin lines so that it's going to look like you drew all of these beautiful things yourself and that you were a rock star. Wasn't that kind of a cool idea to be able to make this something that you can color in. You can also have plenty of space to draw and paint your own images as well as color the things that are supplied for you in here. The back section, I had them add a bunch of pages that are just blank. There's just lines on them. So you can do some journaling and practice lettering, perhaps. That might be something good to use these pages for and do your own art as well throughout the whole book. Lots of fun to be had in these and preparing you to get to work in your Bible itself. Don't get stuck just in the workbook. Work in your Bible as well. So the book is available as of October 23, 2018. I hope that you have found one on pre-order or are going to go and order it yourself. There's links in the description down below to the website and lots of different places you can order it, as well as stores you can find them in in person. And I'll see you guys really soon. Take care. God bless you.